Hey, what's this ad? I don't think I've clicked that one before. I can't believe I missed it. Oh, uh, who's this guy? I like the look of him. He's got a trustworthy face. A trustworthy, grandfatherly, computery face. What's he? Oh shit! Free angel reading? I am so in! Yeah! Wait, I'm supposed to be a skeptic. I should do my research first. Make sure this Padre fella's on the up and up. Alright, who is Padre? A man who talks to angels. My loved ones nicknamed me Padre when I was still very young, as even then I would pray several times a day, and I often dressed in black. Hey, I dress in black too! Wow, we have stuff in common! Today, it is you whom I wish to speak to. In a spirit of universality, free from any religious or sectarian dogma, to make you discover the world of angels. He's not religious either? Gee, this is starting to feel like more than a simple coincidence. Whether you are dealing with financial worries, problems in love, or inexplicable bad luck, it was not chance that led you here and inspired you to consult me. I have all of those things! I'm working at Walmart to try to get a new place to live, but I just keep getting more and more in debt from renting this stupid room. That's pretty financially worrying. And I just got beat up and forced to marry Izet Original, which is about as bad a problem in love as I can think of. And I'm working on a Kent Hovind debunk script, which is certainly bad luck and inexplicable because I can't explain why I keep doing it to myself. How the hell did Pottery know all of that? To help you. I can offer you, through my angel reading, personalized help that will allow you to find your guardian angel and speak with him. Yes! Yes! Padre, please help me! I believe in you! I call upon you, Padre! Uh, wait, a form? Uh, okay, maybe he needs my information to make an initial connection, even though the angels already know I want to connect, and he speaks with them. That makes sense? I guess? Okay, birthday, January 1st, 4004 BCE. Oh, it only goes to 1895. Eh, guess that's close enough. At 12 a.m. Coordinates. Um, hell exists outside of space time, so I don't think, uh. Oh, gender? Not sure how that's a coordinate, but okay. Uh, man, woman. Well, neither really, but I guess my voice is kind of manly, so man it is. Uh, first name, Logic. Email, wellhung4u69 at hotmale.com. Country, Haiti, Heard Island and McDonald's, Holy See, Vatican City, uh, what, no hell? Racist. Fine, Vatican it is. And I haven't read the general terms of use, so I guess I'd better do that. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Wait, I can't use the website if I'm in a precarious financial situation, but... Padre told me he could help me out of my precarious financial situation. What should I do? Should I still ask for help? I could really use it, but if it's not allowed, I might be breaking the rules. What a dilemma. You know what? Padre has kind eyes. I'm sure he'll just let me know if the angels tell him I'm in too bad a situation to fulfill the terms he use. Okay, well, I guess I'll get an email soon, so I'm gonna go get some dirty water from the common hell well, since I can't afford the bottled stuff anymore. Thanks, Walmart. Dear Logic, congratulations. I can now contact your guardian angel. Do you want to receive his revelations and discover your first gift without delay? Yes, Padre, I accept to receive the help of my angel. For free! Thank you, Logic. As promised, you can learn right away the name of your protective guardian angel. I will immediately start working on your behalf. Great! Thanks so much, Padre Udabom. So, my angel is... Nemamaya of the Archangels. Oh yeah, I know him. Squirrely looking guy, mumbles a lot. I don't know, maybe he's good? I'll just... I'll, I'll wait for my angel rating and see. I can't believe Padre still hasn't sent me my angel reading! What if it was an emergency? An angel reading emergency! Oh hey, an email. Help you've been eagerly expecting. Yeah, no kidding, man! It's been two whole hours! I will also reveal to you why certain odd events written down in your near future led me to write you right away. Right away? It took you two hours! Change in your life will occur within the next three weeks. 
So I'll be out of here and divorced and I'll conveniently lose my Kent Hovind script within the next three weeks. Thanks, Padre. Nimamaya provides you with the crucial experience you need to transcend fear and anguish. He opens the doors of eternal wealth for you. Uh, I already have transcendence of fear and anguish. Do you think I could get three of those eternities of wealth instead? I now invite you to learn the first angelical message he was anxious to communicate to you through me. Luck and you. Logic. Luck is a phenomenon which is both mysterious and self-evident, depending on how you look at it. Rationalists believe it does not exist because, as the standard line has it, they believe only in that which they can see. Um, I don't think you know what a rationalist is because it's pretty much almost the opposite of what you think it is, apparently. But I'm assuming you mean people who think it's worthwhile to be rational. In which case... Are you saying that the first thing Nemamaya said to do was insult and strawman me? That's not what they I- They do not know the spiritual explanation of luck and so believe it cannot be provoked. They are convinced that random chance decides it all, particularly whether a person will be happy or not. Well, no, I mean, people have to work at being happy, I guess. If they want to be happy and they try to have a good outlook on life, they might even succeed once in a while. Your protective guardian angel, Nemamaya, confirms being happy depends on a person wanting to have good luck, and particularly on that person's behavior and outlook on life. Yeah, that's what I said. Stop scopies me, Nemamaya. And that's not a spiritual explanation. So whatever good you may do in the coming days and weeks will come back to you. But if cause harm to others, you will suffer its negative consequences. So your will vary on your coming attitude. That's how societies work generally, yeah. Thus, if you do good, this can only result in positive consequences in the form of favorable waves from the celestial worlds that will help you improve your human condition. No, no, the positive consequences come from the effect you have on the people around you in your own mental state. According to Nemamaya, this notion has nothing to do with a moral system intended to convert human beings into obedient, controllable beings by making them believe in a life after death, concomitant to the one they lived while on Earth. Exactly! Our actions have consequences, even if they're just subtle ones, like making us feel a little better, or making the people around us a little happier, which makes things better in general, and... Setting up some religious moral code with threats and promises doesn't help with that. That's the whole notion of secular morality. But that statement of yours contradicts the fact that you just said that you have to be good to be rewarded with favorable celestial waves, and if you're bad, you'll suffer. You know, I know this is Nemamaya speaking and not Padre, and Padre made the promise of no religious dogma, but this is seeming pretty fucking religious to me. Doesn't Nemamaya realize he's working for your site, and you promised that on your site there would be no religious dogma? Money. Money. And you. Logic, your protective guardian angel Nemamaya recommends you do not engage in useless expenses, satisfying your every whim or impulses over the next 15 days. You might need this money sometime during the following weeks. Did I really need an angel to tell you to tell me not to burn my money? The good news is that you will not have to wait too long because Nemamaya is currently engaged in eliminating the negative ways that stand in the way of your improving your financial situation by forcing you to spend unnecessarily. Oh good, so I'll be able to waste all the money I want soon because the force field that makes the electric company keep sending me bills will be taken down by an angel. Within three weeks. And then I'll get everything for free, always. Makes sense. To speed up the arrival of money into your life, recite the following celestial prayer once a day until your situation unblocks itself, which should not take too long if you do so with great conviction. I promise thee, O oh thou, my protective guardian angel, Nemamaya, not to be angry at, nor to blame, myself, for my current unsatisfactory financial situation. In three weeks, I'll blame you instead. Under these conditions, let wealth shower me with its blessings. Bless me with your huge golden shower. Love and you. Get up in the morning with the firm intention of doing something positive during the day, to no greater satisfaction in the sentimental area. Like, buy some flowers for what's-her-face to make her stop slapping me every time I stare at her boobs, or what? This intention logic, if it be truly sincere and you do all you can throughout the day to behave in this fashion, will inevitably attract the attention of your protective guardian angel, who will then make your life easier, 
all day. So, buy flowers for what's-her-face so my protective guardian angel can protect me all day when she starts slapping me. From now on, at the beginning of each week, set at least one day, two would be better, which you will dedicate to improving your love life and your sentimental equilibrium. <laughs> I work seven days at Walmart, dude. I, I mean, I can try... What am I supposed to do on love day? On the night before the chosen day, before going to sleep, do the following. After taking a relaxing bath or shower to rid yourself of the day's physical and psychic impurities, stretch out... Okay, red light. I don't like where this is going. You're old enough to be my grandfather. Please don't try to cyber with me. Close your eyes and imagine how you view the following day in terms of love. Seriously, man, I don't need you telling me to take a bath and stretch out and start fantasizing. Continue this positive visualization of love until you fall asleep. Create the most pleasant images you can in matters of love. So you're telling me to get myself all charged up and not finish the job. Great. Well, I suppose I can see how that would help motivate me to spend the whole next day on my love life, but it's icky. Listen, I'm not into old computer men. During the night, Nemamaya will lean over you and fill you with the energy you need to dare to think, speak, and act with self-confidence the next morning. After all, you always feel more self-confident the next morning when you've gotten some the night before. Are you saying Nemamaya told you he's going to rape me in my sleep? When you wake up in the morning, thank Nemamaya for his nighttime intercession in your favor and your asshole. Then act in the required manner in matters of love. And then he told you I should rape someone else in the morning? What the fuck is wrong with that angel? I knew there was something off about him, but Jesus Christ! I then performed a very special work for you, and what I discovered concerning you exceeds all the good things I could have sensed for you. Get ready for a pleasant surprise. This is you now, right, Padre? Not the sleep rape angel? As I was calculating the incidence of the great planetary transits and observing the movement of the stars for you, one unique fact caught my attention. Your anus suddenly changed its transit across your native sun and, in full ascending phase, came to rest next to Jupiter in your birth sky. Considering the enormous stakes such an upheaval represents for you, I decided to warn you most urgently and perforce before the crucial date of May 4th. 2015. That is the day when everything will be decided for you. I know this, and I now have the proof. Look, Padre, you're a great guy. Nobody can dispute that, but that angel you picked for me was total crap. I guess maybe that wasn't your fault. Maybe the celestial wavebrations just weren't in my favor today or something, but you're gonna need some really good evidence to convince me that this is worth my time anymore. So you say you have proof. Let's hear it. For a few minutes, the celestial forces miraculously lowered the barriers of time for me. My powerful telepathic powers, combined with a very old alchemical practice, a secret known only to me, then allowed me to travel through time. And so, far beyond your past, your present, and your near future, I discovered what I believe to be the history of your past lives. I see. Your proof is that you used telepathy and alchemy to time travel to see what I was like several reincarnations ago. Actually, that's pretty convincing. What'd you see? Three astounding revelations about your past lives. Your first revelation. You have a hyper-beneficial angelical karma that is ready to affect your life. Holy shit, awesome! I knew my angelical karma was beneficial, but I didn't know it was hyper-beneficial. Adverse karma relates to all our bad actions, a kind of karmic debt we must pay. You have a karmic debt, as many do, but in your case, it is coming to an end. Sweet! Suck it, adverse karma! Two tickets to paradise, and they're both for me! And while you might think all of this is completely beyond belief, wondering how things could have come to this, that they all seem to line up against you, I will tell you exactly why and how everything, absolutely everything, can suddenly be turned around in your favor. Great, I'm clicking that link right- God damn it, Padre, I need to know how I can turn everything around with my super angel hyper karma! Okay, well, hopefully this will still tell me anyway. 
I dislike talking of money, but I must tell you that in your case money will be a major factor, with a few tidy sums, one of which is particularly significant, that should leave you safe from want in the coming weeks. Oh, baby! How? How? You will soon become, or become once again, the person I saw in your past. A rich person with a beautiful soul, beaming, popular, and passionate about all the blessings you bring to those around you in this bliss-filled life. Oh yeah! I'm gonna be a rich guy with a beautiful soul for a girlfriend. Your second revelation, a strange event of which you were the unwitting victim has burdened you with a heavy, adverse karma. What the fuck? But you just said I had ultra hyper mecha karma, and my adverse karma debt was almost paid off. You jerking my chain, Padre? The very root of your main problem. Constant misfortune inexplicably seems to dog your every step. Yeah, obviously, but you said all I had to do was be a good person and I'd have incredible luck and also not have to pay my electrical bill. Your successive attempts failed, even though the most resounding success had been planned. Up there, especially for you. Up there isn't a very good planner then, is it? With each day that passes, you are paying dearly. A debt for which you are in no way responsible. Okay, can I have Nimamaya's number? I'll just call him up and tell him to get Heaven's IT department on that because they clearly have a bug in their system. Take your money problems, for example. Do you believe it is normal for you to have to scrape by all the time when others are far richer than you? No! Why does Lucifer get all these villas and cathedrals and dungeons while I have to rent this dilapidated guest room from him? What of your love life? Do you believe yourself to be blessed? Someone to whom life has brought everything you dreamed of? Probably not, while others live in perfect love and are far happier than you. Yeah! Lucifer gets to spend all his time in his lovey-dovey blood orgies, and yet I get married off against my will like a six-year-old to Muhammad. It's not fair! Intrusions and mountains of problems accumulate, one after the other. Come to block your way to the serene, sweet, pleasant life you- <laughs> This is science! Wow. Shut up, Kent! It is time for this to stop. I'm as mad as hell and I'm not gonna take this anymore! The time has come for you to reclaim this happiness that is yours by right. You're goddamn right! Divine Angelic Ritual of Release or whatever, great, do it. Great Angelic Revelations book, awesome, send it. Archangel's Seal of Supreme Salvation, fantastic, gimme it! For a modest contribution of $89 instead of $129. Hey, why is this in Canadian money instead of Hell Adventure Fun Bucks? Oh, well, I'll just pay and then- hey, hey, wait a minute, I have no money! Why do I need money to get my angelic blessings to get money? Can't I just pay you after you get me the money? And you know what, in that reading of yours it said- This means, following the advice on caution you were given earlier, and do not incur into money outlays not currently indispensable. You're real messed up, man. Teasing me like this isn't funny. I can categorically tell you that a new life, a happier life, awaits you, and within the next three weeks. Oh. So you're gonna do it anyway for your charge? Well, thanks, Padre. That really means a lot. But I wish you wouldn't scare me like that. Almost gave me a heart attack. <laughs> this is exactly around the time when the karmic debt you were wrongly burdened with will be repaid and removed from your life once and for all. And you talked to Nemamaya to get him to fix the bug so I can stop getting other people's bills? You didn't need to do that, I was just gonna call him myself, but thanks. That day, a thunderclap will sound in the sky. It will mark the sudden arrival of a first major event that will trigger what might well be the greatest transformation of your entire life. Money will probably be involved. A lot of money. With a first unexpected windfall that might well leave you speechless. So surprised you will be when you receive such an amount all at once as if by magic. Nah, I always knew I was a rich man trapped in a poor man's karma. And it will certainly exceed everything you could ever have imagined having one day. <laughs> I can imagine a lot. New encounters will be particularly favored, especially with the arrival in your life of someone who will become very important to you. This will probably be someone whom you already know, a sweetheart from your past, perhaps even someone you see from time to time but who will suddenly become dear to you. No. Could it be... Ran Campbell? Padre, is it... Is it gonna be Ran? Is it gonna be Ran? Within 21 days, you should receive the important sum I told you about previously. Padre, I am so... I'm so glad that I met you. Thank you so much for... For which I only ask a small contribution fairly calculated for you. You're kidding. 
You said you'd do it for free, dude. D-Day is fast approaching, so you need to act very soon. Read my lips. I have no money. I can pay you whatever you want afterwards for my magnificent fortune that I'll have in three weeks, but I can't do it now. Stop jerking me around, fuckwad! Complete. Right now. The spiritual link that will bind us through this important task I will undertake for you. No! I will perform, especially for you, the divine angelical ritual of release from past lives which only I can perform! Says you! Maybe I want to shop around a bit, huh? I'll walk right out of this car lot if you keep on like this. Know how to take the hand I am extending to you while there is yet time! Take your hand and shove it! I'm out of here. I will immediately set myself to the important task that concerns you and awaits me. Listen, Logic. What do you want? A strange phenomenon has just occurred. You were in my dream. Was it one of those angel rape wet dreams you told me about? This very night, in the most curious way, I suddenly dreamed of you, dear Logic. A marvelous dream, the memory of which is still very sharp. Logic, Nemamaya stood there, next to you. Immediately, the light that surrounded you intensified and enveloped as if it were heaven's most powerful protective shield. Then, without further ado, he spoke. Uh-huh, what did he say? Logic, listen to Padre. It is through him that I speak to you. What awaits you is unprecedented. Matchless happiness. Agree to face the truth. Will you yield to divine will? Please, Logic, go forth and follow your messenger from heaven. He is the one who allows me to show you the new path your life must follow. Let me see if I understand you here. You're saying that my guardian angel appeared in your dream to tell you to tell me that I should listen to you. He's my angel. Why wouldn't he just tell me himself? I then spent several hours carrying out a very special task for you, and what I discovered concerning you exceeds all the good things I could have foreseen. Get ready for a pleasant surprise. I, didn't, didn't you say that already, or am I just having a severe case of deja vu here? Let me recall the facts for you. As I was calculating the incidence of the great planetary transits, and observing the movement of the stars for you, one unique fact caught my attention. Your anus suddenly changed its transit across your native sun, and in full ascending phase came to rest next to Jupiter, in your birth sky. <laughs> yeah, you said this before. Are, are you sure you did all this a second time, or are you just trying to mess with my head? Considering the enormous stakes such an upheaval represents for you, I decided to warn you most urgently and perforce before the crucial date of May 4th, 2015. That is the day when everything will be decided for you. I know this, and now I have the proof. You said that already too. Are you saying you have a different proof this time? Maybe for once, some proof that doesn't involve alchemical time travel? I mean, that text has a link this time after all. So maybe there's actually some more information behind it this time. Okay, I'll give you one more chance, Padre. One more chance to convince me that you're not just a money-hungry, make-believe video game grandpa with a bad case of the copy-pastes. For all this important work, I agree to send you a modest contribution of $89 instead of $129. Aha! Uh -huh. You know what? You send me a modest contribution of $89 and I'll think about it. I'm sure you're going to email again, so I'll be sure to route everything from your address into the trash. Too bad I can't do that with your whole website.